morning guys. I'm on my way to what I know is a uh, one minute bus. Right, I'm on the bus to Gyeongju, so I think the bus just literally arrived when I was walking. I'm um, going to Hyundai station, which is literally up the road, and it's about the same same price as the train, and it's quicker, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. So, what a helpful bus still tells you. So, um, I'm going to go up there. Uh, Hyundai station about to go to Gyeongju like I was saying that's I remembered all it was today because I've got to try and get to it so um, yeah it's basically a little town but it's apparently really cool for like historical sort of some, uh, the name's gone out of my head all of a sudden I'm really bad in my memory I'm not an old person uh, temples that's the one <laughs> but yeah it's apparently really nice temples and there's some nice walks and This train cost me 5,601, which isn't bad. About four pounds, so it's not bad for an hour and a bit train journey, considering I pay double that to sit on the train for like half an hour. No idea. You can literally walk around naked and no one knows. But the train is alive. Oh. I am extremely bored right now. Bored, 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 bored. What do you do when you're bored? You talk to a camera like no one is around. Because no one is in an empty station like this. No one. No one is around, I say. No one is around. The story goes on. There once was a boy who walked down a road. He then saw a train station and stood in the train station. What would be a good idea? <gasps> Someone's entering. Free people! Free people are entering! Who will leave? Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Arriving Gyeongju, let's go and find a hostel. Just at the hostel now, I've just arrived in my room. Um, yeah, gonna go out and get some money and stuff in a sec. So, all arrived right, it was actually quite an easy walk. It was actually like one left, one right, and then I was here. I just walked into the wrong hostel at first, but as usual, I didn't write the name down. <laughs> so, found it at last. So, I'm um, just gonna go and get some money as I'm running low and I will chat to you once I'm outside. National Park near here. I didn't really want to go sh to sh 
shops again. I've seen quite a few shops over the last few days. So I'm gonna, there's a national park, which has got a pathway that goes through it according to the map on the phone on Google Maps. So um, I thought I'd go walk through that. And then it brings me back down towards the hostel. I'm gonna go back after that. They find me, you shine so bright. It haunts me, I'm lost in this thick black sea. Any of you are wondering why I left England, like um, why I left the job, I just, I was beforehand I was a mechanic, like the only time I ever said that was my first video I think, I don't blame any of you if you didn't watch that, it wasn't the best video, but um, yeah no I was a mechanic, I worked in vans for about a year or less than a year and then I've done a sort of tie fit in and before that I studied at college I was working at a nightclub and Throughout my time working, you sort of given when you leave school or when you're about to leave school to go to college, you're like given a book to say like you have to do something out of this. And I knew I liked cars, so that's why I went into mechanics. So it really made me miserable. Like I was pretty miserable throughout the tire job, and then I was less miserable, but still pretty miserable at the mechanics job. I started to perk up a bit once I realised what the plan was, and I set the plan and went with it. But it was, I realised that for me it's not, it wasn't the job and it wasn't where I lived. Like, I, I, to be fair, I didn't, don't, didn't love England, I didn't love living there. But, you know, I had great company, great family, great friends, and it wasn't the people, it was more just the lifestyle. Like, how little I was actually experiencing in my life. You know, right now I'm travelling around and I'm experiencing so much, like, the memories I've had in the last three weeks, three and a bit weeks now, just shy of, yeah, just over three and a bit weeks, are far superior than the memories I've had over the last two years, to be honest. Like, you know, there's been some good memories, obviously, and there's things that happened and life-changing things and things that made me who I am. But for general enjoyment and you know, all crammed into a sh such a short period of time and this is only the beginning of the trip, albeit because I realised just being enjoying what you're doing is a lot more superior than being sort of down and miserable and serious all the time which is, uh, which is um, you know, which is what I was and I'm really happy I went through it because I don't think I'd be appreciating what I'm doing so much but you know, it's like when I when anyone questions you for what you do, like I've known people who've done things and you know, even if you're a guy and you want to be an air hostess or if you want to, you know, be a hairdresser or whatever, you know, if you just want to be a woman and be a mechanic, or if it's your dream, do it. Seriously, do it, because like, I don't worry about what other people think, because really it makes no difference, because You'll meet people who love doing what you do when you do it. So you're with the wrong people if you, they don't support what you choose to do. Like I've got a good few friends which supported what I've done, you know, throughout, and family members also. And as much as it's sad saying goodbye, it really helped. On top of it, it it's nice. And there were a few people, like, I've known a few people who think travelling's like a stupid lifestyle and it's not serious and it's just a holiday. and. So be it, good for them. Doesn't bother me. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here for about five more minutes and I'm gonna stroll back before it gets dark. So I'll chat to you in a second. Come back to the hospital now. It's been a good day today. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. Probably gonna go to temples and stuff tomorrow. Speak soon.